an awful lot has happened to Dean Saunders since his last visit to Main Road, but I don't think he'll ever forget what happened to him that day in April. Having won the penalty, he stepped up to take it himself. Niall Quinn saved, and City won the match. Quinn starts tonight's match in his more customary role as goal scorer. He got the winner at Coventry on Saturday. Tony Coates' return is the only change to the City team. Keith Curl makes his home debut as the new Manchester City captain. He'll have heard all about Steve McManaman's exciting Liverpool debut at the weekend. It's the same team that came from behind to beat Oldham, and incidentally, the average age of the team is down to 27 again. Mixon. Always looking for the ball over the top for the speed of David White. He's charged it down from Burrows, and Grobelar has to make the save. It's such an option for a team when you've got a man as fast as David White up front. And White's speed and strength force the corner. Brennan takes. Flick at the near post. Brightwell smuggled off the line. Ian Brightwell so unlucky. Quinn got the perfect touch on. But Grobal, it was on the line, who did the necessary. Clean challenge by Burrows. Steve McManaman. Awkward for Cote and he might just have got a touch. Saunders was closing in at the far post. But Steve McManaman, speed and skill, again to the fore. And Tony Cope did really well. Mike Marr. Plenty of bend on it. But Tony Cope had his body behind the ball. Away by Curl. Quinn. Helped on. David White onside. Clear of Gary Ablett. He scored! 29 minutes gone. David White gives Manchester City the lead. You can almost guarantee that at some stage during a game, David White's leg speed will get him one on one with an opposing goalkeeper. But he doesn't always finish as decisively as this. No arguing with that. Great finish. Robble Armaroon. Ablett undone. And White makes it. Manchester City 1, Liverpool 0. Here Brightwell. It's awkward. White's there again. So close to a second, David White. Liverpool, so unlike them, caught napping at the free kick. Brightwell in behind them. And David White, a whisker away, hit the uh, frame of the goal. Ball and Carney for Steve McMahon. On towards Dean Saunders. Now he's got Ray Houghton and Steve McMahon in support. And here's Ray Houghton. Brilliant save by Coton. Astonishing stop by the Manchester City goalkeeper. made a great run into the penalty area there. Dean Saunders picked him out perfectly, but Coat is a big man and he made a big obstacle for Hound to pass. <laughs> Quinn has found White, and White has got beyond Albert. He's got no support, he doesn't need it. He's claiming a goal. No, says the linesman, who was very well placed. Now he's given it. Now he's given it. 2-0. David White has been awarded a second goal. Liverpool have gone to the linesman, who certainly didn't give any clear indication at first, although he was in a great position right down by the flag. But after consulting the referee, David White's shot was ruled to have crossed the line as it thundered down off the crossbar. And I don't think you can argue with that. Manchester City are two up. Great turn by David White. Well, it was Jeff Hurst all over again, wasn't it? Goal given. David White second. It's Manchester City second. It's come 19 minutes into the second half. White well in ahead of Burrows, and here comes White again. 
Held up by Mark Wright this time. He's not dispossessed him though. Now was he trying? Oh! Well that would have been some way to go to a hat-trick, wouldn't it? Here is Marsh. Dean Saunders. Marsh taking over. McManaman for support. There's Steve McManaman and Liverpool are back in business. We have just seen the first goal of what is going to be a very exciting career. Steve McManaman dazed in the process of reviving his team. 15 minutes left to play. And McManaman's brave goal set up by the other young locally produced player, Mike Marsh has maybe changed the course of the match. Marsh did so well, twisting and turning, and the young man with a never-ending surname, Steve McManaman, puts Liverpool back in with a shout. Mike McManaman, Houghton, Burrows, now they're clicking. McManaman again. He skinned Brennan, Walters was there, but Andy Hill did just enough. Wheeling down to Burrows. Houghton onside. Saunders and Walters for support. Dean Saunders! Just couldn't keep it down. McManaman. He's trying to time the run, the supporting players. It's fallen finally for McManaman. And now for Dean Saunders. Great tackle by Andy Hill. No penalty given. Penalty given. Eight minutes left to play, and Andy Hill has been penalised. And Liverpool have a precious opportunity to level it from the penalty spot. Well, I don't think Hill got the ball. I think he was going for it, but I don't think he got it. He caught Saunders instead. Penalty given. And it looked a good decision second time around. Now it's Dean Saunders who had that penalty saved here by Niall Quinn last season, this time against Tony Coden. Oh, he's hit the crossbar! Burrows maybe, no, away by Keith Curl. What a dramatic finale. Saunders unlucky again from the penalty spot at Main Road. Tony Coden couldn't get to it, but it didn't matter. Steve McMahon. Curls out, stretch leg. Niall Quinn, here comes Seddy on the break. Brightwell with White and Brennan for company. White outside of him. Here's Brennan. It might come for Mexon. It might come for Quinn. But Marsh is back there. Nichols back there. Abler's back there. And between them, they just about sorted it out. City were appealing for a penalty in the midst of all that. They felt Brennan was tumbled. Marsh. Got to go for it himself. Oh. Another good stop by Coton. Another breathtaking contribution from young Mike Marsh. Took responsibility himself that time. And Coton had to be at his best. Pointer looking for Heath. He might find him via Ablett. Great chance for Adrian Heath to tie it up. Bruce Grobelar has other ideas though. Clearance by Brightwell. Marsh has run it back though. Ray Houghton. Chance here for Mark Walters to really make a name for himself. Steve McManaman offside, he won't count. Coton intervened anyway. And that's enough for the referee. It's been a big, big first week for Manchester City. Their first win over Liverpool for nearly eight years. Built around two goals by David White. Ushering in a new wave of main road optimism. There's one scout smiling inside main road, but it's Peter Reid. The final score is Manchester City 2, Liverpool 1. I think you're a bit too young to remember Jeff Hurst in the 1966 World Cup final, are you? Well, that's right, I've seen it a few times, yeah, but it was, you know, it was the year before I was born. But, uh, you know, brought back memories tonight, I suppose. You two had to wait for the linesman's decision. So my first reaction was, it's in. It's indefinitely, and uh, 
I certainly thought it, thought it was over over the line, and then uh, there was a, there was a delay, and I thought you know they're not going to give it, but uh, the linesman's in the best position to see it, and uh, you know they've, they've both agreed it's a goal, so you know there's nothing can change that.